two parts of the earnings for AMD. I think firstly, uh, it wasn't a great quarter in terms of the absolute numbers. You know, revenue were down. Yes, there was an earnings beat. But actually, uh, the context here is that there's been intense weakness in the PC market where AMD uh, puts a lot of its chips into. Uh, there's been a sort of a chip glut in the market, which has put a, a dampener on prices and also demand for some of these end products like PCs has been weak. But there were two parts, as I mentioned, to this earnings. Firstly, the signs of stabilization. Uh, which were key. Uh, they're saying, AMD, that the overall chip market will improve in the second half of the year. This is similar to what we've heard from the likes of Samsung and some of the other big uh, chip players as well. Uh, secondly, they forecast double-digit growth sequentially, they said, for both their client business, which is PCs, etc., and their data business. So again, uh, more rosier outlook uh, the later half of the year. And finally, the margin was up slightly in the second quarter. So those were all the signs of stabilization that the market wanted to see. The second part of the earnings was about the excitement over AI uh, and the AI chips. Now, uh, AMD is really looking to challenge NVIDIA in the GPU market. Uh, AMD traditionally has been very strong in CPUs, but the company is expecting to launch later this year this MI300 chip, which is effectively a GPU that uh, is looked to rival uh, NVIDIA's products right now. And NVIDIA is pretty much dominating this market for GPUs. These GPUs are used to train huge data sets that are required for these AI applications like those behind uh, ChatGPT, for example. Um, there's a lot riding on this launch for AMD because this is where they're positioning their future right now in this, se in this sector uh, of AI, particularly around GPUs uh, as well. Lisa Su, the CEO, said the company is expecting around 50% growth in the second half of the year in the data business. And that forecast really is talking about the ramp up of this particular AI chip as well. Uh, there is huge demand right now for these chips, as we know, and NVIDIA really the only game in town right now for a lot of these companies looking at training AI data sets. So uh, there's high demand, supply is quite tight. So when AMD comes into the market, they could pick up some of the slack. A few questions, though, remain. How will this performance uh, be versus NVIDIA's chips, uh, and how will it be received by some of these customers looking for these AI applications? So Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.